I welcome you to my channel on Tuesday. My name is Josephine, and this is Language Joes, an Academy of Knowledge Economy. I am your digital professor. This channel releases videos on core teachings in philosophy, philosophy of religion, religion, theology, and spiritual formation every Tuesday. On Fridays, I speak on contemporary issues that are germane, that are important and critical to our lives. It's just like wisdom notes, that kind of thing we do on Friday, and I call it Friday Thonic. Today is Tuesday, and I'm teaching on metaphysics today. I have taught on environmental philosophy of religion and eco theology. If you check my earlier release videos, you could get a lot of them from there. I have taught philosophy of religion. You can get that also in some of my earlier release videos. I'm picking on metaphysical issues this time around. Metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion, that is metaphysics and philosophy of religion. And I know most of us have a different view when we talk about metaphysics or we talk about metaphysical issues. We have different views, and I'm going to address all your views here. But because it's a comprehensive course, I will not be taking every single aspect of it. But I try as much as possible, maybe sp spread in the next three or four Tuesdays to touch on some of them, which will include African metaphysics. But basically, I'm going to start by giving you a general introduction of what metaphysics is in philosophy of religion. And also, I'm going to give you, not today, I'm just telling you how it's going to be. After the general introduction, which I will do today, maybe next Tuesday, I'm going to divine terms I'm going to what the scholars definitions on metaphysics and there we will talk about some other key things in metaphysics and then round up with African metaphysics and that's why I said it might take about four Tuesdays but like I said I will not be able to touch everything you will see because I'm going to go through some models I will just me maybe the topic lines of some models that are taught under metaphysics. So if you want to know more on any of those topics that I'm going to introduce to you today, you could reach me directly, either through my email or make your comment or my description box here. I will put my email and my because I will also put some highly recommended products or services that are very good for you in my description box. So check it in, give me feedback, because your feedback is going to help me to be able to be more effective and to be able to touch exactly what you want or what you want to hear. So before I go into the metaphysics and philosophy of religion introduction today, Let's join language Joes. I welcome you back. If you are joining me, just joining me, my name is Josephine. I'm your digital professor. And today, I'm teaching on metaphysics and 
philosophy of religion, that is metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion. Today, I'm just going to do a kind of general introduction into that. Let me, you know, I love to share my PowerPoint presentation as a teacher. I, this is even something, if I keep on talking and talking, there are some issues, topics that we miss out. So, but when I share my PowerPoint presentation with you, take your pen, take your paper, jot now notes, because this is an academy of knowledge economy. And I try to give people an in-depth understanding of whatever course I am teaching. I want to, I want you to understand deeply, to understand it, because this is like a, a teaching that supports a supportive system to what you are, for a student, to what you are learning in your various institutions. And if you are doing research on it, you learn more through this channel. So join me as I present my PowerPoint presentation. Please take your pen, take your paper. You are going to learn a lot today. Metaphysics and philosophy of religion. Well, if you are interested in anything that is supernatural, metaphysics is for you. So I'm going to take through a general introduction of what metaphysics is, especially when it comes to philosophy of religion. You know, my PhD is in philosophy of religion and theology. And metaphysics and metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion are core causes of what I studied. Metaphysics is the branch of philosophy which considers the ultimate nature of reality. You know, I explained, for those of you who followed my philosophy of religion teaching, that philosophy of religion is a branch of philosophy. And many branches that we have on the philosophy, we have on the philosophy of religion. So metaphysics is a branch of philosophy, which is also a branch in philosophy of religion, which consider, considers the ultimate nature of reality. Of course, since philosophy concerns itself with questions that can be answered, by scientific investigation. Many questions about the nature of reality, like are there black holes? And what is the chemical composition of water? Are not really metaphysical. You understand what I'm saying? Those are not metaphysical because those are the things you can easily get your answer scientifically. Other questions about reality, however, Questions like, does God exist? And do we have free will? Or are we predestined? Is it determinism? Because that is another cause that I'm going to take much, much later. Free will and determinism. The, all this question, the existence of God, the problem of evil, are probably destined to elude empirical resolution. And so, are genuinely philosophical. Is this sort of question that metaphysics addresses? I hope you are getting what I'm saying. The questions that include empirical solutions, questions that are not easily answered scientifically, those are the kind of questions that metaphysics addresses. One of the fundamental areas in philosophy is metaphysics. It is very fundamental that virtually every philosopher in the history of philosophy gave some time to metaphysical discourses. It is therefore not surprising that Anna in 2005 have asked that it is a field of inquiry that has remained evergreen 
thrived from the pre-Socratic period of the contemporary era of the development of philosophy. Metaphysics is evergreen. And according to Amor Egbe, 2002, the metaphysical question of being was set in an articulated motion, but permanent when he argued that whatever is, is being, he further said that being is one, internal and unchanging, meaning that whatever changes is not being. Hello? That is metaphysics for you. You are going to enjoy it. If you like her, the nature of reality, if you like supernatural things that cannot easily be answered scientifically, some things that are labeled empirical formula or solution, then you are right here. They are all in metaphysics or metaphysical discourses or issues. Because what Omoribe was arguing is so fundamental that being is one internal and unchanging, unchangeable being. So meaning that whatever changes is not a being. The simple question, why do I exist, is the question of metaphysics. Metaphysics raises several other questions. However, one of the more interesting ones is that of Martin Heidegger, who began his work with the question, why are their essence? Why are their essence? Are you following me? Existences, things that are rather than nothing. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. And you see the reason why I said, take your pen, take your paper. And whatever I say, whatever you read here, you jot it down, you can even do research more. And if you're a student of higher institution like any university, a student of philosophy, or a student of philosophy of religion, you can learn a lot. This is in addition to what you have been taught in your institution. Martin started his research with why are there essence, that is existences, things that are, why are they are rather than nothing? You see, why should there be anything at all? That's a question. Why should there be anything at all? If nothing existed, there would be no one to know it. But why is there something at all? I'm not parabolating. This is metaphysical issues. If nothing existed, there would be no one to know it. But why is there something at all? Metaphysics today is sometimes associated with the occult, especially when we talk about African metaphysics or the Far Eastern facts or some Asians or in those other Japan, uh, Japan, Singapore, those things who are into kind of myths. They do a kind of all kinds of supernatural things that are not really known to others. So when they talk about metaphysics, today they associate it with occult or the Far Eastern fads. There's nothing so damning as to criticize an author's work as too metaphysical. Maybe somebody writes a book or somebody is doing research and then he says, oh, I've gone through it, it's too metaphysical. Now, Damini, which means it lacks scientific verification. That's what it means. But this is quite a different way of considering metaphysics. For the rejecter of metaphysics merely plays a slate of iron trick by magic in supporting metaphysical systems in a non-metaphysical way in rejecting some metaphysical issues, you are actually 
playing his light of hand trick in a magical way, in a non metaphysical way. Where metaphysical issues are rejected as useless or irrelevant, rejection generally means a substitute form of metaphysics. That they, you, you are, when you reject one as irrelevant, then your substitute is another form of metaphysics. Before we turn to the selected issues of metaphysics, one should note that the reputation of metaphysics has sad during the last several centuries. And it is particularly true in the modern science. Notwithstanding, Russell in 1975 observes that Heraclitus of Ephesus was chiefly famous in antiquity for his doctrine that everything is in a state of flux. As such, being is characterized by flux. Why disagreeing with Heraclitus on his doctrine of flux, Plato agrees with Parmenides that reality is eternal and unchanging. However, he differs from Parmenides in arguing that being is multiple rather than one. For instance, Parmenides argue that being is one and infinite. So Plato agrees with Parmenides that reality is infinite and unchanging, but he differs from Parmenides in that game that being is multiple, not one. And these are the Platonic word of the forms. Forms. Aristotle, who defines metaphysics as the study of being qua being, identifies being with God. So it was first Aristotle who identifies being with God. It is therefore not surprising that in Aristotle, metaphysics becomes theology. Hello, someone? Because Aristotle defines metaphysics as the study of being qua being and identifies that being with God. It is therefore not surprising that in Aristotle, metaphysics becomes theology. The emergence of the medieval epoch in the contention of Izu 2009 did not alter the centerpiece of metaphysical inquiry. St. Thomas Aquinas followed Aristotle in identifying being with God, an argument which Don Scotus rejects and proposes that creatures are beings in the real sense of the world and not in an analogical sense as Aquinas had taught. During the modern period, the problem of being did not feature prominently as philosophers were more concerned with the problem of substance. However, the problem emerged in Ege, John Paul Sartre, and Gabriel Marcel, who became a mystery. This notwithstanding, in recent times, African thinkers have tried to define metaphysics in terms of the African ontology, focusing on being the fundamental concern of metaphysics. They have tried to move away from the elusive and non-substantive concepts employed by their Western predecessors and counterparts. The Africans have tried to define being using the categories common to the experience of the Africans. African scholars like Ide in 1985, 
moved through the Onye apotheosis and arrived at the Ife apotheosis of being. For Unjoku 2011, being is chi. You know, the Igbos, Unjoku is an Igbo man, I mean, they use chi for God at times. Being, the supernatural being. So for Njoku 2011, being is chi. However, for Iroegu, 1995 and 2004, belonging is to belong. Thus, being is belongingness. I hope I'm not really confusing you. you that's why you can see my PowerPoint presentation and read along. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to email me or make your comments underneath in my description box. Thus being is belongingness. This piece we focus on structuring African metaphysics. It is a study that will build on previous works of literature, literature on African metaphysics and inspire other writings in this regard. Like I said, this is a general introduction. So I want to introduce to you topics in metaphysics and metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion. Note, there is no way I'm going to go through all these topics with you. I just want you to know it. You could read more, you could buy books on metaphysics. If you want me, when you contact me, I can recommend books for you. Or if you want one on one to one with me in teaching, you could come. If you are a group, I could teach a group, I could teach one to one via Zoom, wherever. Anyway, topics in metaphysics and metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion include the nature of metaphysics, evaluating metaphysical theories, the problem of being the problem of substance, essence, and existence, the problem of universals, the problem of appearance and reality, the problem of unity and diversity, the problem of change and permanence, the problem of causality, the problem of mind-body interaction, the problem of freedom and determinism, freedom and necessity, determinism, arguments, and objections. Other topics include free will, arguments and objections, freedom, necessity, and God, the nature of the human person, the mystery of mind and body, behaviorism and idealism, dualism, materialism, and emergentism, internal life, immortality and resurrection, the idealist rejection of realism, the scientific critique of realism, consequences of scientific realism, the origin of the world, God and metaphysics, and also includes naturalism, pantheism, panentheism, theism, the two words theory, A and B, Critic of critics in defense of metaphysics. Even it includes soul, your soul, soul, death and afterlife. The enduring value of metaphysics. The metaphysical foundation of religion and science. The metaphysical foundation of ethics. Personal identity in African metaphysics. The meaning and nature of African metaphysics dimensions of African metaphysics and witchcraft, magic, and causality. These are some of the topics that we find in metaphysics and metaphysical issues in philosophy of religion. And like I said, it includes even soul. Your soul, does it die? Does it, is it permanent? Is it eternal? 
death and after life, all kind of things. Things that are not scientific, that you cannot at times prove with empirical formula. All those things fall under metaphysics, especially the nature of reality, the nature of being. So that's going to be the end of general introduction to metaphysics and metaphysical issues. Join me next Tuesday Why I give you forms of definition of metaphysics. And then maybe in the third Tuesday law we might go into being. But like I said, all those topics that are enumerated, are not, I'm not going to go through them in this free online teaching. Join me on Friday for another very exciting Friday tonic. Thank you.